Bugsy Balone, yep, well done to him, or get well soon. He was involved in a pretty horrific crash, actually, that happened, um, was it a few weeks ago? He was riding some sort of quad moped bike thing through the streets of Bury, and he ended up colliding with a car in a junction somewhere, but s- thankfully, he's recovered pretty well. Um, judging by the video, it looked like his whole face was kind of peeled off. Um, and, you know, I don't know, man. On one side, it's a good thing that he's he's great, um, and he's kind of get back on the mend. Put he put an Instagram post out late, um, I think a couple of days ago or maybe yesterday, kind of informing his fans that he's all he's all right. Um, but obviously, on the other side, is the, there's the thing that you know everyone's on lockdown and he's out riding a moped with no protective gear on. You know, not obviously the best example to set. But I also like the idea that UK rappers have kind of moved up a level in terms of um, celebrity status where they kind of don't get the same amount of flack that they did back in the day if someone else if someone did this you know back during i don't know um what was that radio what was that tv show with the music videos on if someone did that back then you would have got absolutely strung all over the papers right you would have been absolutely torn to pieces now again maybe bugs and malone did get torn to papers i don't read any broadsheets or tabloid papers i don't know but people seem to be quite mellow in their kind of outrage in terms of what he'd done because it was quite serious right because you know he could have effectively severely injured the people that are in the car that he hit too right it's not just him right obviously there's a kind of you know the mental effects of it as well the ptsd that comes from it that trauma all that sort of stuff that's happening it's just it's a bit of a madness to kind of be involved in but again glad he's all right but the video of him kind of falling up his bike is a nutty thing i think i should should i actually play it maybe i should play a little bit of it let's see here but this is on on graph lad on graph yeah yeah just fair in it do do your thing you're you're rich and famous rapper in england i don't know there's not many of them around so but you see him doing this he's in actually he's going forward and you see him splayed out all over the floor which i'm gonna stop there and not play the whole thing but he doesn't look in the best shape but luckily we put out a post just the other day actually informing everyone that he's in he's in good spirits everything is going well the caption reads the following they tell me i'm lucky to be alive but although i sustained serious injuries at the time i lost consciousness so i don't remember much what i do remember is a non-stop love and just want to say thanks for all the well wishes and prayers you lot got me through you lot got me off guard you lot caught me off guard sorry with all the support lockdown ain't easy because boredom causes the craziest problems but be safe regardless but I don't know, man. What kind of boredom would lead you to, you know, jump, you know, jump on a quad bike with no protective gear and end up splayed out all over the floor? But in it is what it is, isn't it? But again, glad he's okay and he recovered. Video from talking. Yeah, his nose looked completely wrecked, isn't it? But he looks, he looks pretty well considering all things considered. He should be a lot more mash up than he actually looks, in it? Which you know maybe speaks to his resilience and his level of fitness. But Jesus Christ, man. It's probably rich guy problems, isn't it? I guess when you've got that much money and you've got that much time on your hands, there is a part of you that's like, you just need to go out and do something, isn't it? You just can't stand being at home. I understand it, but look at that. Look at, like, when motorbikes are involved in crashes, it's just, it's absolutely, obviously it looks worse than it is because obviously it's uh, one of those, it's a quad or is it tri bike, whatever it's called with the two wheels at the front. So it looks a lot worse than it is, but he, he must have flew off that at breakneck speed and smashed into the windscreen or, or maybe that's what actually injures people, right? When you fly off of it, you hit other things. So maybe he was lucky enough to just scrape across the floor and not hit like a wall or a fence or a lamppost or something. I don't know, but bloody hell, man. Well, I'm happy he's okay for the most part because, you know, 2020 has already been a bit of a sucky year. The last thing we need is one of our more prominent rappers to be, you know, um, in a far worse position than he is now. But yeah, big up him. Glad he's okay. And hopefully um, this is a lesson for those of, of you out there who have a uh, more disposable income than time to just chill the fuck out and relax but anyway what do i know